Hey guys, I hope that you guys are doing amazing wherever you are. My name is Boom Shaka and it is morning time here and it's rainy, it's beautiful and I hope if you guys are interested you'll join my team at patreon.com slash Boom Shaka. In this video I want to speak to you guys about something that has been kind of bothering me because I've had a lot of people asking me similar questions and I'm just wondering to myself what is going on here people? Anyways, might be kind of a rant, that's okay. Why are people so intent on other people telling them what to do? Why are we so willing to give up control of our lives to random people outside of ourselves? Why can't we just trust that we know what is right for us? We're always just looking for an answer outside. Maybe if I do this massage therapy course, then I'll know the answer. Maybe if I do this yoga teacher training course, then I'll know the answer. Maybe if I go find this guru at the end of the earth, then I'll know the answer. Why do we always have to go outside of ourselves? Always moving outside, always going outside, always trying to look for something outside of ourselves. I've said this before in a past video, but it's just so important because it keeps on happening over and over and over again. People come to me all the time and they, they tell me their life story and then they're like, okay, so what should I do now? And I'm thinking to myself, uh, <laughs> I've only spoken to you for a couple of hours. I barely know what's going on inside of you. I don't know what your inclinations are, what your talents are, what you want to do with this life that you've been given and granted and gift, gifted. What do I know? I don't know anything. I could give you a random answer if you want. Go, you know, go work at an orphanage or something. I mean, I could give you a random freaking answer, but it will not be completely suited to what you're supposed to be doing with your life. I don't know. No one knows. If someone tells you that they know what's best for you, they're lying. They're lying, guys. They can pretend like they know. All of these gurus out there, our masters or, or whatever we're searching for, teachers, they know a little bit of what's going on. Absolutely. I'm not saying that they don't, they're completely clueless. Eckhart Tolle, I mean, he knows what's going on, right? But if you go up to him and say, Mr. Tolle, what should I do with my life? I don't know. I am lost. I feel confused. What should I be doing with the rest of my 70 or 60 or 50 years of my, of my life? What should I spend them doing? Right? He could give you an answer, but do you really believe that he knows what's best for you? Just because he is a little bit further ahead of the curve than you? No, he has no idea. And I know because he seems like an intelligent individual to tell you, I have no idea. You know, go search for yourself. Go meditate. That's, I'm pretty sure what he's going to say. That's what I'm going to say as well. Is go meditate. Or go within yourself, however it seems. It doesn't have to be a religious experience. It doesn't have to be a mantra experience. It doesn't have to be really weird. It doesn't have to be this, that, anything, right? All you need to do is sit down quietly, be still, stop moving around all the time. And I'm saying this from my own personal experience because I spent a lot of my time moving, you know, doing something, going here, there, everywhere, meeting up with people, going drinking, doing all that stuff because I didn't want to sit still because I was afraid that if I sat still, then all of these voices would perk up and say, Shika, you're wasting your time. You know what you're supposed to be doing. You need to write, but you're not doing it. Sit down and write. Sit down and do creative work. That's what you're here on this planet for. Stop wasting your time. I did not want to hear those words. Right? I was afraid because I knew that it was the truth. I was wasting my time. I wasted, I wasted decades, guys. Decades on this nonsense. I don't want you guys to do that. Especially if you're younger, if you're in your 20s, and if you're feeling lost, which is the case for a lot of 20-year-olds, 20s, I was like that too. I'm not going to tell you to go to university because it's a waste of time. I'm not going to tell you to go get a great job and make a lot of money because, again, that's a complete waste of time. It's not going to make you feel fulfilled. You're still going to be empty on the inside. But you need to figure out what is it for you. Like, go do that job. Go make that money. But spend time on the weekend or... At after work or sometime during the week, figuring out what the hell am I supposed to be doing on this planet? Why am I here? Why did the universe make so much effort to create me and put me here at this point in time? What is the point of all that? The universe doesn't make mistakes, as you guys know. So what am I doing here? And that's the question I ask myself for the longest time, all the time, every day. I'm not saying I've discovered the complete answer, but I know a little bit of it. I know bits and pieces to it. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm not completely, like, I don't know exactly what my path is, but I know I can see a little bit of it. I can see bits and pieces of it. The universe is always constantly sending me directions saying, you know, this is the right path for you. Keep on going on that. 
or no, this is not the right path for you. Stop doing that. It's a waste of your time, right? And so that happens because I am still, I spend every morning sitting and staring off into space, thinking, ruminating, wondering, is this the life I want to lead? Is this exactly what I'm supposed to be doing? Is this what I want to do with my life? And if the answer comes out yes, which is what it comes out, thankfully, a lot nowadays, then I say, okay, good, phew, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. In the past, when I was in my 20s, when I asked that question, the answer was always no, no, and no a thousand times no, right? That's the reason I was so dis desperate and <sighs> afraid because I was thinking to myself, okay, I've spent 10, 15, 16 years of my life doing nothing that I really wanted to do. Why? Because of my parents? Because of my society? Because of all these messages from the universe? From, from the media? What? It doesn't really matter, guys. You don't know. You don't know, maybe, perhaps, what you're supposed to be doing. That's fine. Just sit still for a few moments today. Just sit down in a quiet space and ask yourself, like, what do you want to really do with your life? It doesn't have to be full-time work. You have to completely quit your job and start doing this, whatever it might be. No, just take a few moments and figure out, okay, I want to. It might be the most obscure thing ever. I want to make anime. Okay, cool. Figure out how you're going to do it and start off slowly, baby steps, little by little, right? That's how I did it. I did not start, start doing all I'm doing right now completely at once, right? It doesn't happen that way. I started off slowly. I started off doing one little thing at a time. I started off meditating once a day. That's all I started off doing, making my bed and meditating. And little by little, I added to it. I added to it. I added to it. And now I'm doing all these things, but it came over time. It came over time, guys. So again, I do recommend, please stop asking other people for answers because they don't have those damn answers. They don't. And if they're giving you answers, then they're false. They're false answers, guys. Because it's the same thing. If you're asking society, if you're asking your parents, if you're asking the Rubik's thing, like that eight ball, whatever you're asking, they're all crap. They're all wrong answers. The only answer that's right, it's coming from here, right? And that answer is only going to come when you sit down still for a long time and ask yourself the question over and over and over and over and over and over again. What am I supposed to be doing here? Why am I here? What is the point of my life? What are some talents and skills that I have that's a unique combination that no one on this planet has? Because it is true for you as it is, is it true for me. Every single person on this planet is unique in their own way. And we're bringing something to a table that someone else is not. And so we have to figure that out. These videos that I do, someone else could do similar videos, but not exactly the same as me, guys. Because I'm bringing my own perspective, my own life experiences, my own energy, my own perspective, my own stuff into it, right? No one else is going to be able to do exactly the same videos. They might do the exact same topic, but it's going to be completely different because they're going to be coming from a completely different perspective. Make sense? So you guys got to figure out what that stuff is for you and stop, and I repeat, stop asking people for directions. They have no idea, guys. They don't know. They don't know. And if they're telling you they know, that's wrong. Ask yourself. Ask yourself this question over and over and over again. You might have to ask that question a billion times over. That's okay. It's an important question to ask, right? It's more important than all the other stupid questions we ask, like what's going on on television or, um, I don't know, some other questions. <laughs> what's Donald Trump doing, right? So all of that stuff is useless. More importantly, what you're supposed to be doing is asking yourself the question over and over again. Why am I here? Why am I here? What is my purpose in life? Why did the universe work to put me here? Make sense? And again, stop asking the people for directions. If you guys are interested, you can join my team at patreon.com slash If not, I'll talk to you guys next time around. Bye for now.